Yeah, so um, start over. So this is application toolbar. So starting from left, we have application toolbar. And um, once you click onto this, the first icon you will see is on the new, the new, the new button. Um, once you click on this, it will take you to a number of drawing sheets. You have sheet set, you have these are, this is a customized template. What you can do, you can customize the drawing template, the drawing template to the, the sheet pretty much whatever you want. You can choose the size of sheet you want, what size text and all of that. So what I did, I went ahead and picked up this myself. This is another template that I draw, all right? This is a card. There are two, there are two main drawing templates that you use in AutoCAD two main ones. This is standard AutoCAD, by the way. You have AutoCAD architecture and you have AutoCAD um, mechanical. This is standard. I also have AutoCAD ar ar architecture, which I probably will show you in a little bit. All right, ACAD. ACAD is normally used for standard drawing. Yeah, ACAD is used for a standard for um, like millimeters, like if you're drawing something like this that they have on the screen, like um, plain and solid geometry, like you're drawing a circle or you're drawing a, a box or a, some, some small shape, probably 200 millimeters or less, or, or so you would use A card. A card ISO. It's important to note that um, A card is the unit in A card is inches, right? The next one that we normally, we normally use is A card ISO. A card ISO is normally in millimeters. And um, it normally covers a larger drawing space. The unit in ACAD ISO is normally in millimeters. All right. And um, you will notice some additional templates which I which I um I have chosen. Up here we have sheet we have sheets. All right, sheets sheets. Uh, let me let me click, click on ACAD. Let us see what's going on. I click ACAD. Open. This is how it how it look pretty much when you start to draw a new sheet. All right, you to change to change this. Normally, normally we don't. Well, I don't work with these. Or most persons really don't work with these. All right, get the harmonious. All right, yes, yep. yes. All right, so you, 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 you click this to remove. Click the grid. The first one is a grid. Normally, click the grid to remove that. All right, to start a drawing there several things that you need to do. The first thing you need to do when you're about to start a drawing is, well, you would open the drawing. The next thing, you must set up, determine the drawing unit that you want. So the first thing is to open the drawing, set up drawing unit. Then you must set up the drawing boundary. The drawing boundary is pretty much an imaginary drawing space that you plan to, plan to draw in, all right? So the drawing boundary, or the, the size of, of the drawing area is relative to the type of drawing that you're doing. All right, say for example, that figure that's on the screen a while ago, like for example, this. This is 178 millimeters and it has a radius of 90. So this, this drawing pretty much has a area, covers an area of um, probably 250 by 300. So um, for a drawing like this, I probably would use a limit, a drawing space limit of um, probably about 500. Yes, because you would want some space for things like your dimension, labeling, annotation, et cetera. All right, so the size of the drawing is relative to the limits that you use. All right, so um, that's one. Next thing, so you, you would type up units. We have two standard units that we use in drawing. In Jamaica, we normally use millimeters, but the, in some cases, like in, in um, some countries in the Caribbean and in England, United States, they use inches. Also in Jamaica, we still use inches, feet and inches, but at 60 level, these are straight millimeters. So we normally draw in millimeters. All right, so the next thing would be to um, set up your, your, um, your units. So the first thing I'll do, before, even before I set up my limit, is into my unit. So I'll type U N I T. And once you start typing, you will realize that um the 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 it will give you a, a list. So I type units. All right. See, once I type here, 
this this give me the precision and the precision here is four decimal places normally we don't want any decimal place so we don't matter click this let that be zero next thing is units there are several units that you can use you can use inches you can use um unitless inches feet miles millimeters centimeters but the standard unit we use is millimeters so the first thing to do is to come in here and change your unit or check to confirm that it is in millimeters then you press ok the next thing i would do is to um stop determining the size of my drawing yes and um, once you determine the size of the drawing, the next thing is to set up your, your unit, all right? Um, for this, that drawing might be a little, little, little complex, so let us, okay, let us work with that drawing, the, the hook, all right? I will set up a limit of probably 500 millimeters by 500, so that would be an imaginary box. So you unit, you um, drawing boundary is an imaginary box that we normally, it's an imaginary box that we draw in. Yes. And um, for that Im imaginary box, is normally zero, comma, zero is a lower limit. And if you want it to be, to, to be 500 on the X axis and say 500 on the Y axis, you would um, type in a value of 500, 500, comma, 500. All right, so for that you, and I'll show you how to put in the unit. So on the, it means therefore on the X axis, it would go 500 to this side. And on the Y axis, it will also go 500, 500. All right, so 500 this way, 500 up. Same, same thing like maths. And the first value, just like in maths, the first value is always X value. Second value is always Y. Yes, first value X, second value Y. All right. And first, when setting up a unit, you normally start with 0, 0, or at origin. All right. Escape that. I'm going to clean that off. Any question? So the, so the first thing to do would be what? Our unit. Second thing is our, um, our what? Boundary, our drawing boundary, or our limit. Limit, all right? So how do, we, how do we enter the limit for this? First, we type L-I-M, L-I-M, all right. By the way, that big, that big plus looking thing there is referred to as a cross here, as a cross here. And that box in the middle of the of this is referred to as the, as I'm the pick box. All right. So no, to enter our limit, we would type L I M. Limit. Enter. And you will notice this section on here is called the um, command command bar. And um, the command bar is one of the most important important um, part on the screen because the command bar gives you information. Yeah, you every step of the way you must read the command bar. It will tell you exactly what to do. So even if you're not really keen on AutoCAD, once you read the command bar, you can navigate your way. So I type L I M I limit. It says specify the lower left corner. And um I ready? It has entered zero comma zero. All right. If you want to accept the zero comma zero, you would type press enter. Next, it will ask me to specify the upper limit. And the upper limit is, um, you realize it's giving me 12 comma 12. Why? Because originally this is in, was in um, inches. But for this limit, we want 500 comma 500 on the X, 500 on the Y. So we type 500 comma 500, then type enter enter and this will produce an imaginary rectangle you will not see that join boundary all right to bring that join boundary onto the screen once you have done that the next thing that you must do you must type zoom z enter a enter all right z enter a enter what that does that brings that limit onto the screen 
All right. To, what a normal encourage students to do is to draw is to draw a rectangle to test the value of it. So to draw a rectangle up here is a rectangle command. So this, you see rectangle. I click onto that, and for the rectangle, it allows you to specify the first corner. All right. If you want to start at origin, you would type zero comma zero. So zero comma zero. Enter. For the upper limit, we want this to be 500, right? By 500, so type 500, comma, 500. And um, I would like you to notice something. Um, what you will notice that um, as I draw, or as I move, move the mouse, this box on the screen, these value changes. All right, these um, value change. Those are called the dynamic input. All right, see? That box full up the screen. So this is pretty much a limit that we can work with. I'm gonna delete that. All right, now we pretty much have that, that um, on the screen. I need to point out something else. Let me open a new drawing and I'll show you the difference, the difference, the difference it would make if I should draw a line, draw a box 500 by 500 without setting up a limit. Watch this. By the way, you can start a new drawing also by clicking on the, the plus sign right here, the plus sign here, or on the this little page up here. Either works, I click there. It takes me back to this. I choose A card ISO. Open. So this, this pretty much brings up a new join sheet. Remove that. I'm gonna type in the same for this drawing. This drawing is pretty much new. Nothing has been done. No limit set up, nothing. I'm gonna type in that um rectangle, which is 500 by 500. R E C. Well, let me not use that method. So let's click this for rectangle. Type 0, 0, 0, 0. Enter. And 500. 500, 500. Enter. See what happened? This goes all the way off the screen. Yeah? It goes all the way off the screen. To see, to see, to see that, you'd have to zoom all the way in. But to bring everything on the screen, you just simply type Z, enter, A, enter. And that brings everything onto the screen. All right? Any question? So, sir. Yeah. If so this is something that we're going to have to do um, on a regular basis, right? When you're doing like different, different drawings? No. You can, you can fix it and forget it. You can set up, set up all of this once and save it as a template, which you can use over and over. So you don't need to okay. just set it once and then save it as a template. Like, for example, these that I have here. Let me go back to a new drawing. And... So let me go to a new drawing. Let me go to, um, all right, new drawing from here. Look at this. Um, you see these up here? Yes, sir. Yeah, these are templates that I created, like this one. I normally draw legal templates. So I created that one. Open. So what you'll notice is that this one, this one, if I click up here, you will see a large number of um, different layers here. I actually um, upload, uh, upload these. I create these and save, that, save it as a template. Something I will show you how to do. If we were to click on one of these, yeah, and we were to okay. click, let's say we choose this, and we were to click up here, you would only see one because none is set up. This is pretty much a sterile, a sterile file, untouched. 
unmodified. All right. Any question, Limonius? No, I'm going to see. I'm going to see where I'm going. All right. I can, I'm going to send this video to you so you can actually, um, uh, you know, uh, go over it, all right? Next thing. Yeah, man. An application. Onto application. Probably I should explore a little bit more on sheets, all right? A little bit more on um, sheets. So I'm going to go back up here to new drawing. Click this. And go to um, sheets, drawing sheets. So click this, open, and um, what you have here is different types of drawing sheets. You have architectural imperial, architectural imperial, architectural mechanical, civil imperial, civil metric, and we, we will be exploring these. Um, it's important to know that for, for um, architectural drawing, there are two main units. We have imperial, which is feet and inches, which is used by the British imperial government, the British imperial unit are feet and inches. We also have metric, metric, which is one that you normally use. All right. We have civil imperial, civil metric. So. Once it's imperial, you know it is feet and inches. Once metric, you know it's millimeters, centimeters, decimeters, stuff like that. All right. So let us click on these architectural imperial and open this. What this does, this brings up a, a sheet set. This has a pre-bartered, pre bar it says pre-bartered um drawing drawing paper so for this you don't need to, need to do anything much you have that pre-bartered that pre-bartered um template which you can click in to enter your name and whatever information you want to enter in there so once you click there you can fill out these fields all right you can enter your name name you know apply okay that will pop up so you, you you can populate this with whatever information you want to to add there all right that is one next thing so, so that, that is one let us go back to that again save now <clears throat> we go back to new join click here new go back to sheet set if two is metric It is pretty much the same thing, but this one is in um, millimeters, all right? It's important to note that this, 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 this sheet set is, sheet comes in different sizes, all right? So this one is ISO A1, and um, A1 is about 800 and something by 500 and something. Really, really, those large sheet that they draw on, if you want to change, you, you, you can change the size of the sheet by clicking on, right-clicking here, go to Page Setup Manager, and you can select whatever size paper you want. Um, A3, A3 is a standard size drawing paper that you normally use at CXC level. It is 420, 420 by 297. And uh, A4, A4 is a standard letter size which is 210 by 297. So if you want to draw your work and print it on a regular size paper, you would click this one. You, you choose this, set current. Yeah, close. And it, this, this will change to the, the small letter size paper that you can print readily on your computer in the house, all right? And for this, I would, well, let me not, let me not. Any question? Any question? Yeah. So you make videos on all of these things? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you don't know, make some videos. But... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like seriously, Regin. So if you make videos, seriously. 
Oh, I guess you really, you, you miss, I mean, you, you have been so sporadic to, in class that you don't even want to go on. I had about probably close to 60 videos on my YouTube channel. You know? Um, yeah, man, so if you make videos, oh my goodness. No, sir, we didn't do it, sir. We didn't do it, make videos in the server. We never know if you make a video on this particular topic. Part me. Um, well, I've been making, I don't really make much AutoCAD videos. I think I will be making some, some, some more, more AutoCAD videos. All right, let's move on now to this also, to continue on this. So to open a drawing, you would go here to open a drawing. Click application and O. To save is pretty much the same thing. Save or save as. A save as, you would choose where you want to save a drawing. If, one, if you, you want to save a drawing on, on a thumb drive, you know, on a, on a thumb drive, on, uh, on um, the system, Wherever you want to save it. If you want to save it as a PDF or whatever format you want to save it, you should go here to save a join. I don't want to save this. Back here, you can also print, export, print, and publish. That is when you, you know, have your stuff covered you know, and you're ready to print. You know, you can also close the drawing from here. Close this drawing from here. You can close a specific drawing from here. Yeah. You could also exit AutoCAD from here. So if you want to close out, close out AutoCAD totally, you can do that from here, all right? There is a very important button here, which you call option. Option, an option, it's taking some time to come up. Option, and option, or I like to use shortcut keys. For option, you can do many things, a lot of things on the option. You can um, uh, display. You can change um, the the um here the first one color scheme. You can change the determine if it's dark. Dark. Determine if the it's called color scheme here is dark. Typically, when you're looking at AutoCAD, the screen is normally dark, right? I like to draw on white screen, so I normally change mine. So you go here, dark. Click apply. Apply. It's taking some time. Machine gets slow. You see, notice what you realize. You realize that this changed to the original dark, dark user interface. Yeah. Yes. If I want to keep it, I would press OK. But I don't want that. So I. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Uh, so it's back to the original, all right? All right. Save changes now. All right, so I have that. How would I change back to my, my original? I don't want this. How do I go back to my original? All right, let this save for a little while. A long time when I really used any white, any dark. Um, oh, by the way, this section up here is called um, the ribbon. Up here is called the ribbon. Ribbon and um another ribbon you have um tiles. So like here we have a tile here, a tile. This is a drawing tile. Here we have um modification tile, we have annotation tile and layout tile, layer layer style, block tile, and property tiles. All right. So um tile pretty much contains um icons. Similar icons, icons that are pretty much they do similar functions. Are they, you know, they're they, they, they pretty much they, they work together. Like mo under um, modify, you would have things like how to move, copy, stretch, rotate, etc. And these are things that I'll go through with you. All right. <clears throat> Let's go back to back to this. So on, on, on the option, that is just one aspect of option, all right? Back, OP, by the way, the shortcut for, for option is OP, enter, all right? So on the option, we can also determine where a join is saved. For example, this is saved as 2018. You can determine to save it as LTS <laughs> format. You'd go from there, all right? 
Under plot and publish style, if you want to set up a specific printer, under plot and publish, here is where you would go to set up your printer to, to, to um, connect to determine which printer you want files to automatically print to. In some cases where you have, you have like two or three printers connected to a machine, you know, you know, normally the regular printer cannot be used to print AutoCAD drawing. So you might have a wide format printer which can print large sheet. So you probably would um, connect it to that. Like here, I have um, several here. I have my HP Office Jet 4565. That's the main, main printer that I use from home. I also have my PD, my um, other printers here, which I normally use from work. But be it on a holiday and I don't really print from work, I tend to stick to that. All right. From that, we have um, systems. And systems are probably something we won't really get into. We have user preference. Under user preference, you're determining how you want it. Here, you can manipulate your mouse. Yeah? You can manipulate your mouse. Here, under drafting. This is a very, very important one. Okay, Andre, Andrew Green, you're always walking around. Sorry, yeah, under, under um, drafting, this has some very, very important um, features. Here, this will determine the, the snap box size, yeah? The snap box is pretty much um, an imaginary zone within which once, once, um, once they, once they, um, the mouse is in that zone, in that zone, they um it will snap onto that snap onto the, the point next to it so that's an imaginary zone yeah say for example there's a point here once you bring that cross here within this this imaginary zone it will snap onto the point autom automatically all right here this is um aperture size snap acre size oh oh no, um, the aperture size. Sorry, this is imaginary. This is aperture. This is imaginary drawing space. Snap maker size. This is, this is the size of the um the snap box. My bad. Yeah. So this is the size of the snap box that you see on the screen. All right. And I'm gonna change this just for demonstration purpose. All right. Everyone has gone. <laughs> Hmm. All right, so like I'm gonna, we don't need to go back into going to that then. Uh, all right.